Danielson. Hey, there he is, NFL superstar himself. Yes, divisional champ. Not yet, soon. Conference champ. I'm proud of you. Thanks. How sick is it also that you like made that game? You know what I mean? That's that's gotta yeah. be somewhat rare, right? That like the long snapper do it. Like you, you special teams. I hear won that game. It did because special teams. Oh, no damn stuck, and I can't hold it back out. Yeah, we blocked the punt. Scored the extra point. Pretty special. Pretty special, Dan. That's what. That's why I play the sport. Moments like that. So, how do we get you to be the highest paid NFL long snapper of all time? And what is that? Who is, who is the highest paid long snapper of all time? Positions, long snapper. Three, two, one, Wiley. Oh, here. Total value? Yeah, total value. No average per year. Uh, the highest. There's a five way tie for the highest. Or I'm sorry. It's, yeah, five way. Luke much? Rhodes, uh, 1.2125. That's a year? Yeah, that's an average per year. Okay. So who are these losers, and are you better than all of them put together? <laughs> Let's see. So I'm ranked, I think I'm ranked 16th, and I'm making 1.04. Um, I think I'm right in the middle of the chart, yeah. All right, I'm just, I'm not going to say any names, but I'm going to go up from where I'm at. So only people who are making more than me, and I'm going to say if I'm better than them or not, okay? Yep. Uh, probably even better, but he's played longer, better than he's played longer, even, 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 I'm better, but he's played longer, better, even, better, even, slightly better, this guy's probably a little bit better than I am, better, even, slightly better, definitely what are you better, talking he's about? Talk about contracts. You know, Tabor, it's not just how good you play ball. It's also how marketable you are, right? And you're like... Oh, I'm the very fucking, marketable. Yeah, you're like the fucking stupid, sexy Flanders, okay? So congratulations. <laughs> you should request more money. Be like, hey. Yeah. Well, the stunt I pulled last night got me a hell of a lot of uh, good good publicity. Eve is live. Or are we watching Anna? Yeah, we are. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Bye. I'm listening to this. This is, I live for this. All right, bye. Good luck. Target acquired. Well. <sighs> yeah, but he was saying that I'm like blaming him for his men, for my mental health. It's like, dude, that's not what's happening. What I'm trying to say in this clip is i'm trying to say that like um him constantly like falsely um him like constantly like falsely um accusing me of stalking and stuff is really really like hurting my mental health and like why can't he just stop when he knows that like doing that shit like you know being mean and calling me mean names like calling me crazy and stuff like i mean which is really mean <laughs> like is like hurting me and stuff like why can't he just stop that when it's like it's it's really hurting my mental health it's not a matter of like wow i am uh like, it's not like I'm blaming my mental... I don't even know, like... I mean, yes, all of this has re-triggered. Like, all of this did give me, like, PTSD, like, symptoms. I mean, even my therapist said that. 
all the emotional abuse. You know, I had that. fucking Taco Bell, like, and I and shouldn't like, have. I knew I shouldn't have had it as soon as my, my fucking brother-in-law brought it over, and he was like, hey, I got some Taco Bell. You want some? And I was like, uh, and I ate it. Dan, shut the fuck up. We're listening to Anna. Why? I can just do the same thing. Oh, Bob Seven? <laughs> no, fuck you. All right, fine. Oh, hey, Bob. Why did you bully no, him out? Like, thank, Why is Dan thank leaving? Thank you, Bob. Because <laughs> Tabor just bullied the fuck oh. out of him for no reason. Jesus. Tabor, why'd you bully no, him? No, you can't follow You don't follow him. He's telling some you boomer shit-ass story on stream while we're listening to the psychopath. <laughs> Is that the Bob's that I think so. Shut the fuck up. Is this This is your drama. Shut up. This is your drama. Shut the fuck up. This is your drama. Shut the fuck up. This is your drama. Shut the fuck up, Dan. Jesus, Taper, you're very invested in this. Maybe more than me. It's not like I'm saying, well, it's Shut up, Dan. We're watching a show. Totally responsible. No, I'm saying that, like, since, like, him, like, constantly falsely accusing me of like stalking him, of, like me telling lies about me and stuff, and like constantly attacking my like my identity. You don't have to do that, duck. It's all right. Man, you guys are really fucking irritating me. Okay, like I'm trying to address this, and you guys like keep on cucking me. Like, can you stop cucking me? I'm getting really irritated. All right, well, I'm just saying, like, why is he, like, making it sound like I blamed him for, like, my issues? It's like, dude, no, I'm Don't saying that, again. like, why can't you... What? I'm sorry, are we allowed to speak now? You know, and be, like, a normal person. Why can't he be, like, a normal person who has morals? Right. Be a normal nice. person! <laughs> These people are actually paying $2! <laughs> All right, Dev, a long time DG Jeer, explain to me. Well, why is he not a good, why is he not a normal person? <laughs> like, why can't he just stop? Because, like, he knows it's hurting me and, and, causing, and causing me, like, more problems for, like, my mental health and stuff. So, like, why can't he just stop, like, calling me crazy and calling me psycho and lying about me, calling me a stalker and stuff? Like, why can't he just stop that? Like... If someone told me, hey, you're doing this thing, like, hey, you calling me names on your stream. Like, dude, I even made up with Cherry. Like, me and Cherry are cool, okay? Me and Cherry are cool now. We made up. I felt bad. Because I said something mean about her on my stream, and it hurt her, and I apologized. And I won't do it again because I apologized. And it hurt her. And, like, it, I feel bad. Like, I didn't realize that, it, you know. So it's like, if someone, like, were to tell me. If, if someone were to tell me, like, hey, you know, um, you saying that, like, on your stream is, like, really impacting my mental health. And it's it's really, like, hurting me. And, like, I'm dealing with a lot. I'd be like, oh, okay, totally, no problem. Like, absolutely, I'll stop. Yeah, like, I wouldn't want to hurt someone. Mommy, but it's like, he doesn't care. You don't seem mentally stable. <laughs> she to be she in put the on the fucking space. angry uh, emoji face when that donut dono came through. <laughs> <laughs> She's like manually triggering it too, so it's like yeah, Jesus, what a world. Listen, I got I got a, yeah, a catch twenty two for you, if you would, just for a second. So, mm -hmm. if there was a obviously schizophrenic person on Twitch that was going through an episode, would you watch their content over and over again? Uh, only if they were harassing me actively with their episodes. Ooh. See, you carved, you're, you're very sneaky. You, you saw where I was going with this before I had a chance to fucking go there. What? That's why he's a debate, bro. Fucking always looking two steps in front. Couldn't what are you even get talking him there. about? I was just being honest. Uh, what a little sneak. A little sneaker. All right. Well, you got me. I got nothing else there. All right. Careful, Dan. You better be quiet or Tabor's going to yell at you again. Them and like causing them stress, especially like your bad actions, like lying you know, about me and these shit. These people, I, I'm gonna tell you the meme I fucking hate the most, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a meme that you should fucking ban people for 48 hours every time they do it. When you say something, when I say, like, oh, he's a sneaky guy, 
And then there's a bunch of people doing, what? What did he say? Question mark, question mark. Feels weird, man. These people should have their fucking Twitch accounts removed from the fucking platform, okay? And then you can go and do a whole bunch of feels you're weird, man, to yourself sanitation. while you're fucking sitting there banned from chat. And that's no, no. what's going to start fucking happening. Did you go I shit over you your not. tweet about This is the most fucking night. obnoxious shit thing to do. It's just so low IQ. It says more about you, honestly. When I see it, I'm like, oh, there's a fucking moron. Dan. Thanks for targeting it. Why? Who asked, bro? And uh, another fucking talking... high quality fucking insult from Mr. Mitten. <laughs> you are talking to hear yourself talk right now. Shut the fuck up. Get him, Tabor. Yes, King. Why are you so mean to Dan? They thought you're not a sucker. And then... No, the only time oh, it shit, ends on. We got is mods either on if me chat. and Destiny go back to being friends and we're okay with each other. Oh, she wants to. Okay, that's never gonna happen. Yeah, she admitted that's not it. Happening. Um, anymore, obviously. Uh, what is Dan talking about? Or we like agree way. to some sort of truce or something. Okay, but you have agreed to that truce, and then you broke it. Within a week. Oh, is that Dev? Because if people keep yeah. calling me a stalker, and like he should retract the claims. So okay, like, or we, like he should ban. Well, why can't he ban people from his community who like call me a stalker or something? Why if you give me screenshots, I'm sure they'll ban them from their communities. No, because I've already had a I've already had a Molina mod reach out to me to screenshot people who are trying to dox you, and they'll ban. Bye, DGG. All right, but what about Destiny? I mean, it's his community sure. who are literally trying to dox me. It's literally I'm all sure. of them, fuckers. And his other mods will do it too. All right, but still, like. <sighs> Anna, you need to stop giving a shit about what these random people think about you. Okay, well, it's, it's all over, it's dude. Weird. It's literally it all over. Weird. And then, like, rant, and then, like, big streamers see like the accus, like the false accusations of stalking, and they're like, "Oh yeah, this girl stalked Destiny." And it's like, well, what the fuck? It's like it's literally lies. Like he's the one Who fucking cares? stalking me at this point. He logs my Twitch chat. He obsessively okay. goes through my mods, chat comments. I know it's the internet, Anna. People are shitty on the internet. Yeah, but like, why do don't people call him gonna... a stalker for doing that? People call Destiny all sorts of shit. He doesn't care, obviously, right? He has a pretty thick skin. For okay, well, why does he care while. what I say about him then? Giga why can't he just ignore it? If I want to talk about my abuse, why does it bother him so fucking much then? Fucking much. <clears throat> I don't know if it does bother him, but I know Wait, that when people are oh, talking to you, and you should, you should talk back. He obviously he said he enjoys that. So. Yes, I know. I know he likes the drama. He enjoys it. I know. She mad. Cause bad. So you're fighting a battle that you're not gonna win. No, it's not. Because he enjoys this shit. He has fun doing uh. it. What kind of person and you're enjoys? Just just four times a day. What kind of person? Okay. What kind of person enjoys like hurting someone though, emotionally, like repeatedly hurting someone emotionally? Like I've said many times that it hurts me and causes me distress and pain when he goes and calls like lies about me and like calls me crazy and stuff like what kind of person just keeps hurting someone intentionally destiny <sighs> good good chad oh my god how does he have fans like how does this person have fans you know what <sighs> never mind ted bundy had fans too <laughs> Serial killers have fans. Why am I even asking that question? Yeah. And I used to watch this guy named Hal Turner who would just scream out like racist obscenities and like shit talk people constantly. And he had fans. So if Mr. Mooton has fans, I put anybody by can have people. fans. Giga chat. Yeah. Yeah. Giga chat. Okay, well. Fine. I mean, 4chan I has millions of people. Mommy's free. That go there at some yeah. point during the year. The 4chan? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess uh, I just have to let him keep calling me a stalker then. Thanks for all the money, guys. I'm getting a lot of money. Thanks. Yeah, at least, uh, by the way, if you're going to be taking TTS, at least put up to like five bucks and. Yeah. Make some money off it. Yeah. And uh, one of Molina's mods has kept telling me that. Um, you send me the screenshots, I'll send them to them, and then they'll get banned. 
Okay. So is the uh, loop over? Are you going to go on to something else? Or should we raid XQC? Here it comes. She's about to... Oh, I think he's doing she's about to loop. Right Here it comes. She's about to bring it. She's about to get right back there. Here it comes. Wait. Hold. No, I just want this, like, the lies to end. There we go. Back in. And I'm desperate. Thank like, God. I'm just desperate. Like, I just want him to, like... We almost broke the loop. I just... We got Don't right back into it, guys. Me and stuff. It's like fucking like clockwork, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Stuff yeah. like that. Anna, that's never gonna happen. And, where is Anna? If Anna wants to talk... The best you're gonna get, <laughs> I'll offer a truth. Stop stop about if she wants to talk I'm right leaving. now, I'll offer a truth. Okay, guys? If she wants to chat, I'll offer a truth. I'm being friends with him. <laughs> this is why I was so... I had no other choice but to try and, like... Reject yeah, I gotta go. I'll peace. see ya. It's like, Coward. he won't stop terrorizing you. <sighs> it's scary. But I guess I'm I don't have my soundboard hooked up, bro. When I was oh. new to all of this, it seemed so much scarier. <laughs> but I don't yeah, know. Now I'm almost shit. like desensitized to it. <sighs> I'm not sure if that was really Bob Seven. <laughs> Oh no, it's wait, no, that that it might, might be not real. actually been Bob. This person that, reminds me of my ex wife seriously, goddammit, oh, God. she is the worst. I, get, yeah. I forgot you can actually just put any name in there. And why are you listening to those fucking idiots when it comes to keyboards? Only listen to me. Oh boy. Yeah. I have a question. I think that right that if you stop talking about him, he'll stop talking about you. In true conditions, link complete time. ceasefire under the condition that she sleeps with Merle. Yeah, I Has think he won't Merle. retract his false claims. Probably not. At least for a while. Yeah. But then but he's like saying they, that they, I'm they, like. <laughs> Trying to like make him responsible for like my mental health or whatever. And it's like, no, dude, I'm always talking about how you should never, like, you shouldn't like blame people like for your own mental health issues. Yeah, it does cause a lot of distress for me. The best you're gonna get out of this is stop talking about each other, move on, and maybe some time down the line. To get those uh, videos removed, and maybe That's an about apology. The best you can for and maybe an apology. <laughs> We're retracting. Go in there, invite her. Just on. Shit. I don't know how you. Yeah. Are you banning her chat? Yeah, I am. Dumb fuck. Are you gonna pussy out and apologize like a bitch? Fine. I just want to have a chat, you know, a responsible chat. Is that okay? okay. If you pussy it up before and it doesn't work, so the only option you have is to fucking triple down and call her fucking nuts. I think Dan is like the devil on your shoulder. I'm like the angel. Oh, the angel? Let's try it. Certainly, Copium, it will work this time, Copium. I'll apologize, Copium. You need to be like, listen. Carrot works better than stick, Dan. You are. We've tried the Oh my god. I'm Merle. A carrot farm. Okay, there's all the Merle, Dan. Listen, there's so many carrots that have been offered and nothing happens. You. That carrot doesn't work. Imagine she comes in here like, Steve, you need to apologize. I'd be like, bitch, you're fucking crazy. Can you fuck off? Please. Holy fucking Jesus. Like, you do something like that, and maybe she's like, oh. Just that see that's really good okay do but don't cave to accuse someone of the enrichment center do is not required cave. to remind okay, you that you will be baked do not come will be do not and it's internet you get used to this shit. great great you just need to toughen up oof jesus great <laughs> Well, this clip reminded me of something. What's that? Dev isn't going to go for it. It reminded me of this one scene from Girl Interrupted. <laughs> Dev is cucking us, guys. What are we going to do? Oh, I've never seen that. You never saw Girl Interrupted? Tell me, give him a flare and chat. Oh, it's good. It's really He'll good. He'll turn coat. It's one of my favorite movies. Well, okay, wait. Also, um, I was going to address this thing was like i don't know so were we supposed to watch that one movie night yeah i think so that's one of them yeah oh 
Oh yeah, this. Someone asked me about this thing. Um, this isn't private chat logs or anything. I don't know if people didn't realize that. This isn't, this isn't talking about um, private chat logs at all. But, um, I was, cause I was like, sort of panicking. Well, I was really upset with like the whole thing with waffles, cause she was tell me lies, tell me sweet stuff. little like, lies. Like she was saying very, uh, well, you know, I think I've talked about that already on my stream. Steve? <laughs> the enrichment Steve? center what up, is Dan? required to or the remind odds of crying that you will be if He wants and to talk to you. Take. Nice bait, buddy. Listen. I'm not asking you what your plans are. I just want to know what the crying to barometer no. is at. Damn. People have tried to bait me Mommy's into this freedom. before. Like Destiny said he wants to No, no, you're not gonna bait me. You're not gonna bait me. He does not want I doubt that. You guys are trolling, you're lying. Just like the whole, oh, Destiny said he'll go to therapy with you. No, you're trying to bait me. He's trying to trick me so that he's trying to trick me into unblocking him uh, so that he can call me a fucking stalker more. Nope. No, I'm not going to buy it. Nope. I'm not. I'm not buying it. It's just Tricky a trick. little wow. hobbits. Is. Shut the fuck up. What and the then what's fuck? gonna what happen is that, is that I believe these fucking people. I unblock him and that message him. Oh, it's Gollum. Him and he's yeah. like, Wait, wait. I have see? mental coronavirus right now. See? I don't know if it's in yeah, my head stalker. or in my body. Look. Yeah. Or do you remember see? when I told you he's that the stalker. chatter got in my head? <laughs> That's what happened to me. Wait, what? I don't know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> feeling tired. It's in your head, bro. You gotta move past it. So this isn't actually a trick. He's not trying to trick me to like portray me as a stalker. I mean, I'm sure it's a trick, but don't worry. The COVID test is on its way. Not baiting, he is live now. He's he down for one oh, yeah. last talk. He really did say it. He legitimately is interested in ending it. <sighs> he said he wants to talk to you. I don't know. This isn't a bait. Did she swap the face of the happy face? No, it's the angry face. It's the not, not good look. Man. Wait, now it's concerned. Hold on. Now it's concerned. Dev. Oh, she wants DJ Dev to moderate. To moderate. Dev, listen, if you're listening yeah, you to me, you fucking Before this goes down, can you fix your door so I can come give you the fucking test? Oh, it's, I'm dying, Moon. <laughs> Hold on. It's a lot of responsibility. All right, Dev, if you're listening out there, know that if Get you Haas. fuck this up for ask, us... Someone ask Haas. I'll fuck with you, okay? <laughs> I'm He's got now. nothing better to do, dude. I will, I will, I will find a way, okay? I know he you has know nothing to do in his life. I will fucking God. find a way to ruin you, okay? I will. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, the most dangerous people, resources, ability, and effort. And I have all three, okay? Yeah, so, dead. up to you, man. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I ain't fucking around either. What are you fucking, what is he talking about? Oh, I was just talking about these iguanas, man. Oh. Fucking cold weather is gonna get them all. That's <laughs> Are you sure you wanna do this? Yeah, I'll do it. What are you trying to get out of this? <laughs> He's trying to cuck us, guys. Just to make everything you know stop. You know he's not gonna apologize to you, most likely. No. He's gonna. Or retract Why is Dev cucking no. us right now? Look, you guys can highlight me all you fucking want in DGG. I just want this shit to stop. <laughs> Are they highlighting you in DGG? <laughs> I'm getting more highlights than fucking Destiny does. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mommy's freedom! And they're sucking my logs in DGG. <laughs> oh, they got a poll here. Perm bam, dead forever. Oh, If he fucks no. this up. <laughs> if he fucks it up! <laughs> Fantasy, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um. It's up to you. Oh. I mean, yeah. I'm. I'm assuming he wants to talk on stream, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Uh, Dan just banned me, so he can uh, <gasps> cancel the talk anyway. Dan! Unban him! Yeah. We'll punish Dan by We'll call him the uh, content cuck. Well. 
DGG Dan's cucking your content. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is, by the way, this content. is someone who's totally <laughs> fucking abused, by the way. This is how someone Even who's so abused talks. They laugh and they hang out with their abusers. This is all, this is Jesus real copium. Is he copium. To say yeah, he always misspeaks, even in text. Mm. It is kind of weird that you're cucking us out of our content, Dan. Now they're all mega lolling him. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it's gonna be fucking awkward for Dev when he realizes that this, if he doesn't fucking straighten this shit out, it's not gonna be uh, oh, yeah, one day ban. Oh, okay, this is wait, a permanent sorry, ban. So I will go through, I, I will find every VPN this, yeah, this so motherfucker like, has. So um, go ahead and laugh and have ha ha ha's and, and think like, you're gonna end it with Anna and all I mean, this other nonsense. Because listen, like, motherfucker, the, get this um, shit done or find a new fucking home on the internet. That like I wasn't crazy or whatever. I love it. You finally giving us content. Keenly will live on for days. Um. People giving me money. Um, right, yes. Um, I was saying that, yeah, like, like how, like, cause she would shit talk Destiny and DGG all the time in my chat logs, and I was like, wait, what the fuck? She's like lying now. Like, she would literally say to me, like, you shouldn't, you like, it's, it's not good for your brand that you associate with controversial figures like Destiny and DGG. Like, you shouldn't do that. Blah blah. blah. It's not good for your brand. Um. And then it like it was like such a weird twist. She was just like it was so weird, and so like yeah, I wanted to like um, show that stuff, and also just like her um, making fun of how she would bully me and stuff, and she'd call me like a doormat and stuff because I like let her bully me and everything. But now I think you guys know that I like to be. I don't really mind being bullied by <clears throat> pretty girls. <clears throat> Who's she talking about right now? What I is she? I need another bully in my life. Any pretty girls out there want to bully me on stream and call me cringe? Freaking Coomer. <laughs> it's on. not sexual. <laughs> this is part of therapy. I miss Waffles bullying me. <laughs> I need a new person. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm done now. All right, anyway. So, yeah, that's all this was about. <laughs> <In> a... <laughs> If I subscribe, will you talk to Steven? I I vote for Brittany from Politically Provoked to be the next uh, girl bully who comes around oh, my no, stream just to <laughs> bully me. <laughs> I vote for her or Lauren, Lauren Southern. <laughs> Either one is acceptable. <laughs> Brittany, the left wing host, who's a race realist. <laughs> I should put in an I should make an application for that. Cute girl bully, the stream cute girl bully. All right, sounds like she's not gonna do it, guys. Dev fucked us. It's okay, Dev. You got this, man. Just don't fuck it up, or there will be consequences. Here's a picture to keep you in spirits, DGGO. Yeah, I'm content, bitch. That's right. I'm fucking content. Hurry's freedom. King bully, you are. I'm gonna die, Moot. You're absolutely... I'm absolutely infected. Is Anna getting on? No, she's not coming. Dev and Dan, fuck us. Dude, I didn't... Hold, hold on a second, okay? Before I did that, he was like, nah, you shouldn't go on his stream. He's just gonna make fun of you. There's no point. Fuck that. He was just gonna fuck it up as, the longer that you went anyways. It was fucking done, okay? Thank you. Dan's ranting and raving. Dan's ranting? Well, that's not nothing new. Yeah, he's drunk, so... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What the hell is that? Mm, woo, mm, woo. Dan, I can't believe you cucked us this hard. This is probably well, the hardest enjoy your new, ever Go enjoy your new home, Dev. I hope it's everything you thought it would be. <laughs> Meaning so fucking close to the sun that you have changed yeah, orbit. Keeping a stack enjoy with life. I don't know who this dev guy is, but about? he needs some bitches on his dick for real. <gasps> New Motherfucker company. can't see his dick that's when he good, takes a shower, if you know what I mean. Also, True. let me borrow 10k. <laughs> you always gotta have, like, one mean girlfriend around. I don't know why. But they're kind of fun be friends with.
Yeah. Yeah, quack. Laughing, crying, raging. What are the, those? The are those are the emotions that my avatar goes through. No. It's not Destiny's first time abusing someone. I suffer from diagnosed pentaphobia, and despite him knowing this, he has on multiple. Oh, Gappy Five. Oh shit, Merle's here. Is that from Gappy? <laughs> yeah, he has a site, Mr. Girl. That GG. He's kind of cringe. Three drops of water, right, Mooton? What happens if I'm positive? Do I just have to stay locked up all day? I think, did I address it? Oh, no. Me? Yeah, oh, no. But yeah, oh, no, we can't go to Key West, guys. I have to quarantine for three weeks. <laughs> oh, my God, Mooton. I'm so sorry. Public chat logs, but I decided against it anyway. Oh, oh Jesus, Mooton, I see that line. Yep, that's clear as day. Ah, oh, shucks. We got Corona bad. Oh my god, three lines? I didn't even think that was possible. What the F? I got twins. So yeah, I was just like, nah. It's petty, so I'm not gonna bother. I just decided to take the What if I am one of the severe cases and I fucking die, dude? Fuck, that would suck. <laughs> I, I thought about that too. I yeah, you're fucking... like one of the unlucky ones. Okay, well, I just, I'm a fucking, I get no exercise, right? I drink, I dude, sit on my ass great. all day. Like, I, I am the this. guy that fucking dies in his 30s. <laughs> For sure. But I'm the dude, right? It's like, we didn't think there was anyone out there that actually got no exercise. Like, not <laughs> like, 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 some people walk at least, like, half mile a day. Yeah, like, how, how did you manage to only walk to your fucking bed? From your, <laughs> like, how is this possible? Do you not have to go to work? Yeah, no. I take my scooter everywhere, too, so I avoid walking there also. Be good content and have a breakdown. Uh, Dev messaging me for, for, for you. forgiveness? No. You know what you have to do, Dev, if you want to back in my good graces. If one line has appeared, should the other line have appeared yet? How long does it take? Did you know that Daytiny has an ex name? No, forgive me. Also accused uh, him of so crying, and he said that he doesn't care, and yeah. she cried on stream. She knew him for I ten years. I feel my throat getting sore now. I feel all the symptoms coming on at once. Fuck. Kind of sore a little bit. Cringe my shoulders. Uh, yeah, oh, Steven. Yeah. On, uh, on Discord. You're unblocked on Discord. Oh boy, Dan. If I what if, if I get the block? what if I get the results in the middle of the you're unblocked from Anna yeah on in Discord. the middle of the conversation though yeah 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 that that's fine let's just it'll throw me off that, let's just you know what let's see how you do on your feet kid all right <sighs> oh god I keep looking down waiting for it to show I'm gonna have the worst type it's gonna kill me dude I'm gonna die listen just please don't cave okay wait what happened I'm gonna die I'm waiting for I keep looking down at it waiting for the single line to appear. Shut up, you're fine, pussy. I'm gonna have it. Remember, oh, caving God. got you nothing in the past. Okay, nothing. Might as well. What, what, what in your life changes? You get to play more League. Congratulations, dude. No, I'm. God. I'm gonna have a long right, unblo COVID. Unblocker, let's, let's get this show on the road. Woo! Oh, God. It's gonna happen. I see it. I can feel the line. It's coming, guys. Time is passing slower. My life is passing in front of my eyes. Do you have chest pain? No, I don't. I think it's all in my head. But multiple people had it in the Texas event. The person I was staying with has it. Okay. Hi. Okay. Anna. Can you Destiny. Hello. Hi. Anna. Steven. Steven. You are actually insane okay how can you not realize this you're driving me crazy steven Anna, Anna, okay. how can you not realize this it's not no the crazy was there okay i just the uncovered crazy. it okay really the crazy was there okay okay 
in your head right now. So your friends don't support you. Your chat doesn't support you. Your mods don't support you. Nobody publicly supports you. Why do you think that you're in the right or that you have to carry on this crusade indefinitely? So, um, I know that already. Like, I know that. You don't think that they're always telling me to like, just drop it, just stop, just drop it. But like, what am I supposed to do when you literally called me a stalker and you and said it, that you, I Then you move on. Sometimes you have a shit. negative interaction with somebody and then you move on from it. Then you're done. Like, has any of this benefited you in the past year to year and a half? Like, has any of this benefited you, the carrying it on indefinitely? No. No. So do you Obviously think that that's going to magically change at some point? I don't know, because it, if I don't, like, I don't know. I mean, it's everywhere. Like, all these people think yeah, that but why, I why, am, what like, keeps What keeps causing it to happen? What keeps causing it to pop up? I mean, I get that me talking about it doesn't always help. Okay, so but... then, it, so why not just drop it? When you haven't talked about it for a while, nobody's talking about it. It's every time you bring it up on stream that I respond to it. And then it happens over and over and over again. Why not just leave it? I'm sort of trying to, but you're then not it's like trying I... to, Anna. We've talked Even like you know, Anna, you know Anna, how I am. There like, been, I, yes, I do know how you are. You're times. crazy. We've I know that now, but I'm, I'm hoping times. that I'm hoping that you're trying to make the argument that you're not crazy. So you're going to show me that you're going to do a rational thing. Somebody that isn't having a psychotic break from reality. And you're like, you know what? You're right. Actually, it would be super irrational for me to continue this over and over and over again. I'm going to go ahead and just stop. That would be the non-crazy thing to do. What I was saying is that, like, you know how much it bothers me when I see someone being, like, like saying shit about me that's not true. And then I feel like I have to respond. I mean... So this is good. So you're going to do this for, for five years, for ten years. You're going to do this for... You're going to spend the rest of your life on Twitch going over this issue. No. When is it going to stop? I guess I'm just hoping that uh, people will slowly not think that I'm... <laughs> Or Hasn't whatever. it slowly I don't know, been like... going the other direction? Hasn't it been moving worse and worse for you every single day? What do you think is going to make it change course? Mm. I don't know if I keep addressing the false misconceptions people have. I... Maybe it'll take hold. I don't know. Has that, That's the has way that my happened? brain thinks. Has that That's happened? That's the way my brain thinks. Has it happened at all yet? No. <sighs> you sound just like Merle. I know. I'm. <laughs> it's. Okay. I almost made a flirty comment. Okay. Let's reel it back in. So when does this end? I would like for it to end. I would love for it to end. It's not going to end on your terms. Fine. What, you were you... always you were always so difficult to compromise with. <sighs> uh, yeah. When it comes to you constantly talking shit about me publicly, yeah, there's not a compromise to be had there. Neither of Talking us... shit about you publicly. Yes, there is no compromise to be had here. Really? We just move on. Remember how you hey, remember Anna, how you Anna, did a fake we're not apology going to, on the we're not gonna... Royale, and then you went the next day and just called me a stalker and did it all over we're not... again. Do you remember how many times we've agreed that we were going to move past this, and literally twelve hours later, you're on your stream having another fake breakdown over this? What do you mean fake breakdown? Okay, my breakdowns are very real, actually, which is very not okay, but. How is this it is very that, distressing to me. How, how if this is, so you're like giddy right now to have this conversation, but simultaneously you say I've made you suicidal. How does that work? I think you know that it's my defense mechanism. I think it's, or yeah, it's called borderline know. personality disorder. I think that's what's going on, okay? Oh my God, dude. Okay, that's another thing that really pissed me off. Like, you don't even understand personality disorders. Like, where is your degree? You shouldn't be doing this. Like, you shouldn't be saying that shit. 
Like, you really think that somehow, like, all, all the mental health professionals, like, they're, they're just wrong. They, they somehow missed the borderline. Really? I, I don't, either you don't have a therapist or your therapist hasn't confronted you with that because there's no point in telling somebody with borderline that they have borderline. God damn it. Sorry. I, listen, there has to be an end to this at some point, right? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, no shit. But, like, you gotta chill, like. I really, I really can't understand how you think I'm borderline. Because you literally match every symptom to a T. You acted every single way accordingly. No, I don't. R really? I don't do risk take. I'm not like a risk taking. I you don't absolutely do, like, are risk taking. Shit. What are you talking about? You met me, okay, off of the internet, stranger person. That was pretty risky. You are constantly engaging in like insane internet behavior where you're like drawing ire from multiple communities where you're talking about how you're going to carry this on forever. You're going on all sorts of panels to start fights with people. I think a lot of that is kind of like risk taking. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't go on panels to fight with people. You what? stayed on that one panel arguing for like two hours, like six months arguing ago. Arguing with. The Zerka panel? Yeah. The one where you would cry until you realized you were muted and then you'd stop immediately? Okay, hold on a second. Do you, are you, are you, are you serious right now? You really think that I'm like fake crying or something? Yes. How could you seriously think that? How could you genuinely think because that? Because you switch it on and off so quickly and so easily based on what's going on on stream. No, I don't. You absolutely do. No, I don't. I when I cry, like I'm. I don't know. I'm crying. Like yeah, but I then when you respond to like I... a cutesy like comment, you just like shut it off immediately, and then you go back. Do you want like clips of? If you ask your chat later, I'm sure it will have them. Or probably my people waiting to start drama. I'm pretty sure that you can, like, literally get examples of you doing this. You would do this in the uh, in the Zerka combo. You would cry, 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 and then once he'd mute you and you realize you were muted, you stop immediately. No, I wouldn't. I kept crying. No, you stopped. <laughs> I, I, I can see it in the camera. I know. So you think I stopped crying when I was muted? No, I mean, if, if I saw that I was muted, I stopped talking. Because then I was like, oh, well, I'm going to look like a fucking dumbass. I'm talking when I'm muted. I'm Why would somebody crying. willingly subject themselves to this over and over and over again for no reason? If this is so, if this is so emotionally... It's not for no reason. I keep, th I keep thinking... First of all, you know goddamn well on the Zerka panel that... Look... Well, not to break. Okay. Well, first of all, you know, goddamn well on the Zerka panel, I was extremely upset. You're always extremely upset on stream when you're talking about this. Yeah, it's a. It was a. It was upsetting. It was very. It's very upsetting to have this shit all public. Then why do you keep talking about it? I mean, and it's upsetting to me when you like try and call me borderline when, when I know that like. I don't have that, and I don't even meet any of the symptoms. I understand that you perceive me as meeting those those symptoms or whatever, but just like how you think that like this is about like my some fucking abandonment issues or whatever, despite me explaining to you how it's not. I don't know, dude. I, I mean, I have a lot of anxiety. Do do we want to go down the borderline diagnostic criteria and see if you and see how many so of them we think you can match? Time, do you, <laughs> we can do, do you that if you want. Do you really think that's how diagnosis works? You just look at the DSM and you just think like, yep, yep, check, check, check. Like, also, no, I, I, I mean, you can go down that list, but I still don't have that shit. Okay, let's say that you don't, okay? And let's say that you're a normal, functioning, rational human being that isn't having a psychotic break from reality. I'm not always rational because okay, I have a problem can... with anxiety. Because you have a what? Because I have a fuckload of anxiety, so okay. No, I'm not shouldn't you take like proactive steps then to minimize your anxiety instead of throwing yourself over and over again into the most like mentally you, arduous why, arena possible? Like, well, why do you think I uh, am uh, going to therapy for my anxiety? <laughs> if you have a therapist, there is no way that your therapist would be telling you that you should be talking about this on stream over and over and over again. Why would you assume that my therapist says that's a good idea for me to do? If your therapist says it's a bad idea for you to do it, then why do you continue to do it? Which is what she it? says. What? Which is what she says. Then why do you keep doing it? Because it's compulsive? 
Dude, it's, like, I, how many times have I told you that I have OCD? Like, Anna, 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 hold on. First of all, don't frame all of your behaviors through the lens of a particular mental illness. All right? there's, there's no reason to do this, okay? Because it, it, it's, you're making excuses, okay? Number one. Number two, okay? Compulsive does not mean that you prepare all your stuff for stream, get ready, turn it on, and talk on stream for a couple hours. That's not a, that's not a compulsive thing, okay? Okay. Well, there, you just... can absolutely just not stream. In, in a state of mind where you're clear, you could literally give your stream key to somebody else and then ask for it when you want to stream, which you've tried to do with your mods, but you're getting angry when they turn your stream off. Like, there's plenty of ways to get around this. Like, right, because I, th I think that if I keep talking about it, it'll get better. Do you, has it, but it hasn't, right? Right. It, it's getting right. worse. Right. So... Why would you think that continuing to talk about it is going to suddenly I mean, change? Well, uh, to be fair, I'm not sure. I I don't know. Sometimes I think that maybe it's getting better. Uh, and, uh, what how, what is your indicator for that? How do you? How, why do you think it's getting better? Because then I see more people who like come and support me and stuff. Do you think it's people coming to support you, or do you think it's people coming to farm drama clips off of you? Hey, you didn't add Dev, by the way. I, you know, I, don't, I don't need him in here. Wait, okay. Do you understand when you say you see more people coming to support you? It also sounds like you're kind of just doing this for attention, like in a bad way. That like, oh, well, when I do this, no, I get viewers. I, no, because I don't. It's not about the viewers. Trust me. God. Oh, Wait, nothing is worth it. Wait, Why would I trust oh, you for no, anything? No, no, no. So, so I'm just saying that when you say that, well, oh, well, sometimes it's like it's working because I'm getting like. Quite broken. The what? trust between us is quite broken. That's true. What? That's an what? understatement. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't understand why you think I'm so crazy. Like, it's just weird. It's because like, you seem like a person I'm with gonna... borderline. I've never in my life interacted with somebody that has the fortitude that you do to carry forward in a bad, in a negative way that is so self-destructive. Ever. Never. And I've interacted with a lot of crazy people. You know this. But you, you're, you're steadfast in your engagement with your own self-destruction. Because I can't let people think lies about me. I can't. I can't let you that go. I can't, want to be a I person on the go. internet. People think lies about everybody. Well, I can't handle it. Then you I probably. Can't. Then you just shouldn't be there. No. Probably not. I mean, I think me becoming a streamer probably was a, a mistake. Okay, hold <laughs> on. Because I can't handle it. You're I not, really can't. Okay, you're just. You're not a streamer. Okay, you're somebody that streams. This isn't like you're not locked into this. It's not your full time job. You don't have to do this. You're not forced to. Right. You're not paying bills with this. So you're choosing to subject yourself to this. Why? At the detriment of your own mental health when you supposedly want to still be a therapist or if you're trying, you say you're suicidal over this, why would you continue to subject yourself to this over and over again if not just for attention? It's not that simple. And it's it's pretty simple. It is that simple. It's really simple. You continuing to talk about it is bad for your mental health. It's bad for your like social relationships and every other aspect of your existence. But you continue to do so. It's not getting any better. There's no reason to think it's going to get any better. More people are getting bad ideas about you now. Because every time you bring it up and then I bring it up again, it's blowing up on the internet and people are going crazy over it. So you're, every time you log in, you're self-destructive to your own mentality, to your own like mental well-being, and to your own image, which is like contrary to what you even want to be doing. Yeah. I mean... Hold on. Do you understand? No, this is the part where where. I mean, if I was Hold talking on. with you're someone, at, you're, at, you're okay. You're you're genuinely you're the craziest shit, person like, I've ever talked to. Okay, I just want to understand. This is this is why I talked to you so much. Okay, because I just okay. want to understand in your mind. Okay, when, you're gonna say yeah. so you do this thing where you go you go yeah, and then you wait like five or ten seconds, and then you're like, but I need to do this thing. You've done this like a million times. I've listened to you do this on stream over and over again. Are you? Could you perceive that you're doing that? That you will start to like agree with whoever is telling you trying to talk you down and then you'll immediately go back into the full like off do you do you perceive yourself doing yeah. that steven why don't you understand that like yeah i know this like i know i can know i can sort of know logically because i'm not sure i fully believe it but like i can know logically that like that like yeah this probably isn't the wisest thing to do but i feel like i have to do it do do you really not get that do you really not get it no when you're being driven to self-destruction over and over and over again by some impulse that rationally defies everything that, that is inside this reality? No, I don't, I don't have that push. I don't think no, most people no. do. 
No, because you don't have OCD, so. I don't think this is just OCD. You clearly have a type. I don't think this is just OCD. Mm, I'm, I'm just explaining that like that. That's okay, all I got let's for think you. about, that's let's, let's see if we can, ex saying, let's, that's all I got for you. let's externalize this a little bit, okay? How so? If there was a person that was talking about how somebody was spreading lies about them, leaking personal details about them, they threatened them to dox them, all these horrible things, and they've been ruining their life for a year plus, okay? But that person was still like happy to have a conversation with them. They said maybe they could be friends again. Would you think that there might be some weird splitting or something going on with that person? I don't want to use that word, but- Wait, wait, that wait, 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 I didn't agree to be friends again. Let's just clear that. Let's just clear that up. I thought that like we could come to some kind of agreement. That's if we I'm came talking. to an agreement where we stopped fighting online and we just talked casually, like, would you be okay with that type of agreement? I just want things to be civil. That's all. I just want things to be civil. Yeah. Where we can just exist without like constantly going back and forth at each other. It would yeah. be a hell of a lot less stressful. Yeah, so do you understand that most people, if they had made the claims that you made about being subjected to the constant abuse and traumatizing behavior that you say that I subject you to, wouldn't feel that way? They would be like, no, I hate this person. I don't ever want to fucking talk to them again. And in fact, I'm going to go out of my way to avoid mentions of them or anything having to do with our interactions. That's why I go out of my way to avoid you. You don't, yeah. though. What do you mean? You engage with my stuff constantly. You talk about people in my orbit. You talk about Melina. You talk about me. You talk about my chat. You do it constantly. I'm getting linked clips of you like almost every day now. What the fuck, dude? I get linked clips of you people talking about me. It's I saw a clip of Melina fucking saying I shouldn't be a therapist, so I was pissed. And yeah, I'm going to fucking like rant about yeah, that. In How response to things, that, in response to what you're saying, though. You guys literally raided. Why she did you raid? Why did you on Hugo's stream and lied about me and said that I'm still trying to stalk you and I'm trying to like, get with you? Like those are fucking lies. Like fuck that shit. You think I'm just gonna sit back and not? Say and you're literally saying things on stream about how like I forced you out of a condom usage or how I'm like spreading STDs to people. Okay, hold the fuck up. I never said forced or pressured. I said you're fucking weird about condoms, dude. And you were like trying to convince me that it's totally fine to like not wear a condom. Anna, we had the exact same position on it and you tried to claim that I talked you out of using one. That's pressuring somebody. No, I said you tried to convince me that it's okay to not wear condoms. What do you think because that's gonna have Anna, you. to 99%, first of all, you agreed with me on all of it, okay? So what do you think to 99% of people are gonna think when you say, when you say always... somebody tried to talk me out of using a condom, what does that sound like? I guess I just expect people to like use critical thinking skills and not jump to like, oh wow, he pressured me. Like, If I show you the clip, do you think there's a chance that you might've actually used the word pressure? I, did I use that word? I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I said convinced. Okay, I don't know. Let me listen, give me a second. But like, this isn't fair because he's the one that was like pressuring me to not use a condom. But anyway. Okay, so um, hold on. So just to be clear, you verbatim said he was the one pressuring me to not use a condom. That's a really rapey thing to say, right? So of course I'm going to respond to that. Oh, did I say pressured? Yeah, kind of like, oh, did I mention your kid? Oh, did I mention that? Oh, did I forget to tell you I was streaming in the hotel room? Oh, did I forget? Yeah, yes. Another one of those unfortunate slip-ups. Why do you act like I have malicious intentions? I don't think you it's have really malicious. I'm not saying you have malicious intentions. I wouldn't accuse you of that. I think you're fucking insane. Two different things. Yeah, I know. You've tried to accuse me of that plenty of times, which, by the way, hey, that's a form of emotional abuse. Trying I'm, to not tr I'm, not, crazy. I'm just making an observation. I'm trying to abuse you. Uh -huh. not, everything, not everything I say to you is abuse, okay? Okay, well, I mean, trying to convince someone that they're crazy is literally textbook emotional abuse. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. If you were crazy, I don't think I'd be able to convince you of it. That's a job for your therapist or your family. That's just how I feel. I'm just telling you how I see things. Why did you guys raid into Autistic Destiny if you're not stalking me or trying to stir shit up? Somebody gifted, um, somebody gifted, uh, was it her, mm -hmm. a sub to my stream? Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. That's the only reason why? Yeah, well, why else would I? I mean, someone oh. gifted her, so I was like, okay, I don't know. I thought maybe she was like, um... I'm <clears throat> getting like shit from DGG or something. Wait, which one of those? Well, now that's a significantly different thing you're saying. 
What do you mean? There could be two reasons for something. Why do you... Okay, th it's really manipulative to do that. Why do you act like I can't have, like, like, there can't be multiple reasons why somebody does something? That's because you know what for I'm... Me, hold on. I usually Let's, have on, many wait, reasons wait, 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 wait. why Let's, I do something. Hold on. Let's take a deep breath, okay? Let's activate the front part of her brain and think about this rationally. Okay? You didn't raid into her because somebody gifted you a sub. You raided into her because you know that my community had interacted with her and you wanted to stir shit up. Yes. No. I thought that maybe she was she must have been getting shit from you and I wanted to show support. For what do you her. what does that even mean? Why would you even th know? You thought that she was another victim or something or you thought it was funny. I have the clip you tried to delete it, but the one where Merle is saying, "Oh, look at this person." And then he DM'd you some stuff and you started giggling and you're like, "Oh, okay, we'll raid her." I heard no, that clip. I, yes. Do you want? Do you I want me to find it? Do you want me to? Do... Uh, yeah, play it because I definitely don't think I was giggling. I think I was saying like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> really? Do... Okay, hold on. Go ahead, play it. I, you know, hey, Here, by wait, the way, another, you can play this. Wait, hold on. I'm, hold on. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm muting this while I listen while I play this. So don't talk. There you go. You can just watch this. Happy holidays. <clears throat> we got just a raid, raid, raid. Uh, working on it. Raid, 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 raid. Let's go check this girl out because she seems to be uh, another victim. Huh? What You'll see. Mean? Okay. Don't worry, I won't. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. We'll go check her out. Okay. Did you cool. listen to this? Cool. Okay. Well, yeah, so again, what is your point? I don't understand what your point is. What do Everything you, wait, I said was what right. Do you, what do you do from like, for like a day-to-day -day basis? Do you go to class or anything? Or like when you wake up, do you, are there, is there anybody that like helps you like get around or do you go outside on your own or? Steven, can you please not? treat me like this listen what's the problem merle was said like oh we're gonna like stir i don't know it'll piss off dgg why the hell wouldn't i want to piss them off because fuck them <laughs> they harass me all the time okay like, that's great but remember how we got on this track remember where the what station we left on this car wait, how can you seriously think Anna, that Anna, 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 I wait, wait, someone that i'm Anna, stalking you bring it back bring it back wait, what did i say i said initially that you raided this person just a shit stir. And then you said, oh no, it was because I was a gifted to sub. And now you're saying, okay, yeah, because I knew that you raided them and I wanted to like, you know, be a little mischievous. No, when Merle said, let's do this because it'll piss off DG, I was like, okay, sure. So you <laughs> lied, so you lied. So can you admit then that you lied initially when you said that it was because you were gifted a sub? That's not why. No, because that's how I found out about her. But that's, no, 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 no. That's not why you raided her. You raided- How is that a lie? Anna. You raided her because you wanted to shit stir, right? No, that's not why. But I wait, was like, okay, then, wait, wait. fine. If it'll piss off DGG, why not? What, fine. Is that, what does that mean? I'll raid somebody to piss off DGG. What would you call no, that besides shit stirring? Wait, dude. I don't know. I mean, we thought that like maybe like she was being victimized, like bullied by DGG or something because of her like name. And also someone, I found out about it because someone gifted um her a sub to me or whatever. Anna. What? Why are you always trying to, like, this is, okay, this is the kind of emotionally abusive shit, too, where you, like, do this interrogating thing, and you try and catch someone in a lie, and it's really weird, because it's, like, it's, like, it makes a person feel extremely nervous, because it's, like, oh, my God, now I have to watch, like, every little word I say. I think the problem is, I don't think you're used to anybody ever actually telling you or confronting you with lies. I think you're used to just, like, being a compulsive liar and getting away with it. So it makes you uncomfortable oh when somebody actually- Dude, I don't lie. You compulsively lie. Yeah, you've lied multiple times in this conversation. Yes. Oh my God, no, I didn't. You, are, you literally just got caught in okay. 4K HD, 15 yeah. megabits per second bit rate, full HDR. Wait, so you're gaslighting me now? Well, how am I gaslighting you? Because you're accusing me of lying when I didn't. You just lied, we all heard you lie. No, I didn't. I gave multiple reasons why I ended up rating this person. But the main reason... But you don't accept them. No, the main reason was to shit start with my community. I mean, 
I don't really know why Merle picked her as a raid, but I mean, if it wait, wait, the you don't know why he picked her as a raid? What was he telling you when you listened, when you read the Discord chat and you giggled? Why did you agree? What was he telling you? What was he typing? I don't remember. <laughs> well, when you're reading it and you're giggling on your stream, what do you think he typed? You don't remember, really? You yeah, seem to have an encyclopedic knowledge of every type of abuse I've levied against you, but this happened, what, a couple weeks ago, and you can't remember why he told you to raid somebody called Autistic Destiny? You really expect me to believe that? Because it was something about pissing off DGG, and I was like, well, if it has that effect... Something well, about pissing... Yes, yeah, so that's it. called shit-stirring, Anna. Okay. I mean... Okay, so can you just... It had the unintended effect of that. I this mean, is like a... This is a big know. This is a big moment of progress for you. Can you admit just, that you I'm lied that. initially when I accused you of doing it to shitster and you said that wasn't why? And then you rambled no, off a bullshit reason? reason? Anna, can you no. say... Stephen, I lied. Say just... But that I did it. Say, I lied. Though. I lied, Stephen. I lied. I did. I lied. You, I, you, okay, I lied. You're being manipulated. I'm not manipulating you. I'm just pointing yeah, out that you just you lied. Are. That's not a lie. It how, how is it not a lie? Because that wasn't like on my mind. I wasn't thinking, yes, we are going to raid this person specifically because like That is exactly you just said though. That was why because you thought it would make DGG mad. That's specifically why you did it. No, I, I said if it had the like unintended effect of also doing that, then fine. How can it have I'm, an unintended I'm, side effect of doing something when you're literally raiding her because of their association with that community? I mean, mostly I just wanted to show her support. For what? What if that was my friend? What, show her support for what? I don't know. I guess I just assumed someone would be like, hey, no, that's Destiny's friend or some shit. I don't know. I mean, why would somebody gift her a sub to me? A subscription to me? You don't get any pushback in real life from people that can tell that you're lying about things. Oh my god, that's not a lie, though. You just keep talking and talking until... Okay... This is how you gaslight. This is this is the gaslighting uh -huh. in 4K right now. The gaslighting. Do you think that if you throw enough of those psych terms around, that it like gives you some type of command over the conversation? Does it work? I guess it probably works with normal people, is right? Not a psych term. What? Gaslighting isn't even a psych. It's not. Term. A, that's right. It's not a psych term, and you don't use it correctly no. as well. Like yes, I, so I do use it correctly. You don't. We we have a disagreement over something you've just said. That's not gaslighting. Gaslighting implies that I'm intentionally trying to make you not remember something that, that was based in reality so that I can undermine your confidence in yourself. We, we can go back and watch the VOD. I'm not gaslighting oh, like, you. Like you did for almost two years, buddy. Thanks for that, by the way. You really killed my self-esteem trying to make me think I'm crazy and have borderline and all this shit when even my therapist is like, don't listen to that. <laughs> Thanks, Steven. Why would and you listen to your to therapist when she liar. tells you not to listen to that, but you don't listen and to her when she tells you not to stream? To convince me that I'm a compulsive liar and that I just lie. What else do you think I lie about? I would love to know. Just because I have multiple, if there's multiple reasons behind something. Repeatedly. I don't even remember what the question was. You lied about the condom thing. Um, no, I didn't. You lied about why you hosted it. Autistic Destiny. Okay, I didn't lie about that. Mm -hmm. Why do you? Um, why are you abusing Merle really so much? Say the word pressure. Are you sure I said that word? You did. Why did are you? you just um. The clip? What? Wait, can you send the clip? You can listen to the whole thing if you want. Here you go. <clears throat> okay, thanks. Hold on. Let wait. me know when you're ready to play it. We'll start at the same time. Ready? I was gonna just listen to it on my end. Well, let's just both listen to it. Why not? Ready? Okay, go ahead. Three, two, one, go. But like, this isn't fair because he's the one that was like pressuring me to not use a condom. It's like he was, he kept on going, like going on about like, oh no, it was he kept on going, like going on about like, oh no, blah, blah, blah. Actually, like it, you don't need to wear a condom. This is why like, you don't like condoms are like, and like we literally argued about this like this isn't fair like i was trying to convince him that wearing a condom is the only way to have safe sex and he was like arguing back and stuff oh, so it's like it's not like i don't Frills. use condoms but he's making Anna, it sound Anna, Anna, Anna. okay yeah i shouldn't have said pressured 
No, it's not just pressured. The characterization of your whole statement makes me sound like a fucking rapist. And you don't even believe the stuff you were saying okay, well, here. No, I do. I still I still felt like you were weird, very especially weird about condoms. I wasn't, but I wasn't weird at all. I literally explicitly said that we could do whatever you're comfortable with. Like, I explicitly typed that sentence out. How is that weird? Because you're always going on about how it's not necessary to like. First of all, I SD wasn't or, even. You just go Anna, to the doctor to take a pill Anna, and like. Anna, with SD that wasn't even a. Some STDs Anna, are permanent and for life. Anna, first of all, some of the STDs that are permanent aren't protected by condoms. That was the whole point of that conversation. Firstly, secondly, this is a conversation I was having with Stream, not with you. You were the one that DM'd me to get into an argument about something I was talking about on stream. I didn't just yeah, bring- I thought it was really irresponsible that you like basically talk about how you, it's like, you don't really need to like use condoms all the time. That's great, but now we're screen. shifting the goalposts. You can think that it was irresponsible, that's fine. But I wasn't trying to argue with you about it. And I didn't tell you that you had to act a certain way. And I wasn't trying to pressure you towards using one or not using one. Every time we've talked about condoms, you're weird about condoms. Though. I'm not, I'm incredibly straightforward. I just don't like the way they feel. That's it. But if somebody really wants me to use one, I'll use one. I'm a big boy. I'm an adult. It's not weird at all. I don't know. I guess I think it's kind of weird. But you yeah. said you yourself don't use them. How is that weird? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that, too. How you were manipulative with, like, leaking those DMs. I like, wasn't manipulative, like, Anna. Anna, I... Do you want Yeah, it was manipulative because I was talking about in this in the... um in the context of a long-term relationship, I don't always use them. Cause yeah, you know, when you're in a monogamous committed relationship for a long time, you don't always use a condom. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. And you presented it in a manipulative way to try and be like, oh look, she's a liar. You, why would that make you a hypocrite to, to not use condoms in a long-term relationship? Because if I'm always saying like, you should always use a condom, and then, like, you know, I'm not... So you like, tell people they should always use condoms even in long-term monogamous yes. relationships? Well, no. I mean, I just say that people should always... You're lying condoms. right now. Do you understand that you're lying right now? Okay, how am I lying? Because you're trying to tell me that you tell people that they should use condoms all the time, even in long-term relationships. And when you were talking about not using condoms, you only meant in the context of a long-term relationship. Yeah, absolutely. But that's not the case because you literally said you're content to be a hypocrite, which means that you're not talking about long-term relationships because who, who, no. who would you who would tell you that you have to use a condom all the time for like your husband and wife? It was literally in the context of a long-term relationship, though. That's where my that's what I was thinking about, and that's why I was pissed at you that you made it seem like it wasn't. I mean. That's what I meant by, like, I'm sometimes a hypocrite. Okay. Um, you're, you're, you're lying. <laughs> um, I, but I don't know how else to... It's because you don't believe Let's me. Let's see. No, no, it's because you're, you're, you're clearly lying. And your characterization, well, like, of, your characterization of this, saying that I pressure you to argue about it, my last sentence to you about this was, regardless of what I've what said on stream... No, 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 no. You're, you're... Man, you're. <clears throat> can I explain real quick what your mind is doing for for the audience? I don't know if you can tell, right? So instead of engaging with the whole of what I'm saying, you're trying to latch on to like one or two things so that you can keep pushing the lie. This is like what a compulsive liar does, right? I might say that like Cody, were you at home last night? And he's like, Oh no, I was at the bar. And I'm like, Well, I know you weren't at the at the bar or whatever working. Um, I maybe you were at Kmart. And I was like, Oh well, maybe you were there, or whatever. And then they try to latch on to like every little thing. Well, oh no, hold on. Well, seven o'clock, I wasn't there. You're wrong about this particular thing. But instead of like looking at the overall characterization of what I'm saying, you're like trying to grab on to every little itty bitty thing. It's not about whether you use the word pressure or not. Right? And trying to say like, oh, I just shouldn't have said the word what pressure. The entire characterization of what you were saying was that I was being rapey. It wasn't just one word. Even if you wouldn't have said pressure, that's fine. How on earth was that rapey, dude? What the fuck? How is that rapey? You're when you joking, talk right? about me arguing with you about whether or not you should use a condom, that's a little bit rapey. No, it's not. How is it that's not? not rapey. That's not rapey. Really? No. So if, an, if, if two people were talking. Well, it's like kind of shitty, but not rapey. No. Okay. Let's say that it's not rapey. It would still be an incredibly 
sexually aggressively like inappropriate behavior well then i'm i shouldn't have like made it sound like that then but that wasn't just one word you used that was your entire characterization of it the entire clip is you reinforcing that it's not just one word okay but it doesn't make sense that you would characterize it that way well, my last message was, regardless of what I've said on stream or anything we've talked about, I'm totally cool using condoms or any other kind of protective measure you're okay with as well, 100%. I mean, you said on stream, you made it sound like, I'm just totally cool with not wearing a condom. Like, bro, because I like, am, no, but I'm true. also totally cool with wearing them, depending on what my partner wants to do. No, I mean, you said that about me. I don't talk about my personal sexual relationship with somebody ever, well, unless they bring it up what? first. You said. Well, that's what you said. No, the, my, the conversation I was having on stream had nothing to do with you. It was a total unrelated. This was like a year or two ago. You're, you're lying again. Do you see how you keep reaching for things to like try wait, to make the story fuck? work? Well, wait, 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 wait. No, that can't be right. You had to leak that. No, no, no. Because how else Anna, would, why, 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 why would I get DMs from trolls mocking a me? A year and a half ago. When I was talking about condoms on stream, that had nothing to do with you. You messaged me to argue about what I was talking about on stream, which is fine. Oh, sorry, I'm not talking about that then. Sorry, I thought we were talking about uh, something different. So the reason why we're talking about it recently is because you brought up out of nowhere that I pressured you into not using condoms. That wasn't brought up out of nowhere. That was in response to you literally leaking details about Anna, you're reversing it in your head because you're trying to find a lie. But like, I've, no, we know the I'm not. I literally even so, said that. Okay, let me just understand. So you I think that I, you I think that I hold on. Dude. You think that I brought up out of nowhere a thing about condoms, and then you responded to it? No, it's because, um, it was about the whole STD thing. And oh, that was another like, lie you said that you I spread like, STDs. Okay, you can't get out of this one. I saw the clip. Somebody fucking sent me that clip, and I was like, what the fuck, dude? The clip of me of joking one. to Melina saying, I'm gonna give you syphilis and there's nothing you can do to stop me? You think that was a serious clip? No, it wasn't that. It was something else. Where it sounded like you guys were definitely serious. About what? Where? You think I'm on stream having a conversation saying, oh yeah, I'm spreading STDs to all sorts of people. It's so awesome. Like, what are you talking about? Well, I don't know. I mean, I heard the clip, okay? Like... I I mean, so you're saying that it was a joke? I'm saying one time on a YouTube video, I think, I joked to Melina that I was going to give her syphilis and there's nothing, at joking in response to an STD question or something. But no, that's the only time I think I've ever made a joke like that on stream. If you have another clip I of me... I remember there was someone in the chat that said something like, oh, it's so cute, you, you like, both have STD or something in the clip or whatever. I remember no, seeing someone... No, why would that be cute? That. you're not are you sure you're not lying because i definitely i know what i heard in the clip do you have a link to this clip by chance or could you ask merle or dev to send it to you because other people were talking about it on twitter i had seen also so it's not just me people were joking on twitter like something you gave me an std something something whatever Giving you syphilis right now and you can't even stop me was the biggest turnoff of my life. He says this is a common fetish. And that's what I was reacting I felt so to. And I was just like horrified because I was like, what the fuck? This isn't a joking. Like, this I told him I didn't like it. And he's like, that's serious. He said that we don't have to do it again, but I can't stop thinking about this. I know this is petty and immature, but this is burned in my mind. And there's a silly part of me wondering, what if he'll cheat on me and give me an STD on purpose? Even though I know he loves me, he would never do that. I always end up thinking about this during sex and it's like a cold shower. How do I go over this? I feel like I'm ruining a great relationship with a great guy because I can't go over myself. No offense to anyone who has this fetish, by the way. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's intense. I'm giving you syphilis, you can't even stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Could this possibly be what? Damn. How often, how many times a week do you go to therapy? What? Huh, I'm just curious. Oh, you said once? I thought you said what? Or did you say once? I said what? Oh. But yeah, I do go once. What do you normally work on in therapy? My OCD. Do you use DBT? No. 
Oh. No, I don't. It wouldn't do a lot for me. Um, I've heard DBT is really effective for people yeah, with for borderline. borderline. I'm DBT. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't have borderline. <laughs> I don't have I don't I don't know what you want me to say like you want to talk to my exes like I don't know dude Like I don't know I don't have like I, I don't have like any of the borderline shit I think it's really weird that you don't that you think my crying is strange like don't you think that's maybe because you don't have like a healthy range of emotions that you perceive my normal emotions as like abnormal or something because like i don't think that's really fair for you to project onto me and try and make me think that like there's something wrong with my crying like you know that like hurt me when you tried to say that to me before you're like reaching through so much shit to try to find something that sticks. I think it probably works with most people. You're pre you're 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 just like reaching through so much. I have a little a, a pretty limited emotional range. That's true, but your crying is definitely fake. You, I think you engage in a lot of behaviors to garner a sympathy for yourself. The constant self victimization in order to make it so that you're always you can always no, cast yourself I'm, as the victim in any I'm interaction. I'm literally depressed. All you do the it time. all the time. No, you talk. You're depressed all the time. Would you say that you're yeah. depressed all the time? I mean, I am depressed Would... pretty often because of everything that's happened. Yeah. Do you think and that, like, like everything that's happened has made it kind of difficult to maintain, like, friendships and stuff? No. Really? You haven't had problems losing friends recently? Just one. Well, two if you count you. Okay. What about, um... What about a fear of abandonment or frequent and intense mood swings? My therapist says I don't have that. And I, and I don't. Do you think on stream that you go through frequent and intense mood strings from crying to talking to laughing to crying to talking to laughing? My avatar, my VTube avatar does. Her, her emotions are, her emotional expressions are... Uh, you said that you're feeling, su you were feeling suicidal. I think that matches under self-harm. Some days I do feel suicidal because of all the harassment and stuff. Uh -huh. And I feel like, wow, this is just kind of hopeless. Holy shit, it's never going to get better. Do you ever feel like you're paranoid? Borderline paranoia is different. Yeah? Yeah. There's specific um, types of borderline paranoia. But also, I don't, I don't know what you consider to be paranoid. I mean, my therapist doesn't think that I have any of it. Um... You want to come? You want to come talk to my therapist and try and convince her I have borderline. I would love to see it. I if you want to set up a Zoom meeting, if you want to set up a Zoom meeting, I'll one hundred percent. I would pay money to see it. I, you don't have to pay money. You set up a Zoom meeting and have her email me, and I'll do it one hundred percent. You understand your your posturing, right? You're lying when you say that. So what I'm curious about is why is where the lie comes from. Either one, you don't have a therapist at all. Two, oh you do have a therapist, and she has told you that you have borderline, but you, you're too embarrassed to say anything publicly God, about Steven, it. God, why are you so convinced? It's ha it has to be one. Well, then let's set up. Will, will you email your therapist and have her do a Zoom session with me included? It's weird because... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Why are you... Wait, wait. So you just... You just wait, wait. You just... You just... Do you say you're pivoting now? You're trying to get to a different subject, right? It's interesting how different you are towards me. Why? Why are you pivoting so hard from the therapist thing? I'm not. Okay, so will you email her and me, CC me, and then we'll set up a Zoom session? It'll be off stream. It won't be on stream. Oh, no, she wouldn't. That would be like, that would violate like all the ethics codes. No, that's why I'm saying it would be off stream. It wouldn't be on stream or anything. Don't fucking record. I don't trust. Like, you can't fucking record it. <laughs> I'm not going to record it. I think that'd be illegal anyway. Sure. So why not? why not email both of us and do that? Know your email i can give you my email? my email is public i can give you my email no where is it on your twitch profile or something i can just type it out to you i feel like you you really have like such a high opinion of yourself that you think i can't get over you like it's really weird you've been talking about me for over a year and a half oh well haven't you been doing that same thing 
Well, I Have stopped you been logging my Twitch chat for over a year. I don't log your Twitch chat. It's okay, there's logs RTBA of all does. sorts of things kept. Tell Number RTBA one. Tell RTBA to get off my dick. Okay. How about that? Tell him to get off my dick. <laughs> Anna, will you email me and your therapist tonight? We can set up the three-way Zoom session. Yes, sure. Okay. I'm gonna... I mean, I have to talk to her uh, in person, though. I'll... Why do you have to talk to her in person first? You can't do an email? I mean, I can. Oh, thank you. I just never talk to her via email, that's all. Why do you torture Merle, Merle so much? <laughs> what the fuck? Also, dude, you need to stop. Like, you're bringing in... Oh, seriously, like, seriously, he doesn't have an alt account. Like... You really got to stop that. Like, that's, that's like, actually an innocent, like, normie girl who you, you, like, are dragging into this and saying it's, like, Merle's alt account. It's absolutely she, she Merle. Come on. Learn. Really? Oh, my God. You know, Steven, sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like you project with that whole paranoia thing. Uh -huh. I mean, you went, to, you went to some extreme lengths to try to say that, like, this is Merle's alt account and he's, like, secretly trying to date me and stuff. Dude, Merle doesn't want to date me. He's like a brother and I'm like a sister to him. That's weird. Do you want to bet money on that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> like, well, hold on. Wait, wait. You just, you made a pretty strong claim. And I, it, I'm curious. People feel strongly about their claims. You can put money on it. Do you want to bet money on that? Sure, yeah, why the heck okay, not? Okay, I'll bet you $15. He's in favor of me, me being with Adri, the new guy. $15. If you were to message Merle and say, hey, I'm going to dump my current boyfriend and maybe we can date, do you think he'd say yes? Or do you think he'd say, no, that's kind of weird. We're like a brother and sister. I think he would say, no, that's kind of weird. We're like a brother and sister. Okay, you should try that sometime. And then shoot me the conversation. I'm curious. And then I'll give you $15. This is so stupid. Oh my god. Why can't I just have a friend who's like really supportive of me and feels for me? He's not supportive of you. He's like a caretaker for a crazy person that's broken out of their asylum and stumbled in front of a computer that streams. <laughs> the way you described that. Then why did you, uh, then why, then why were you so interested in me for so long, Steven? Just it's <laughs> interesting so talking to crazy people. <laughs> well, okay well birds of a feather you know <laughs> are you going to uh are you going to be able to move on from this or are you going to have another breakdown in nine hours on your stream with stardew valley in the background i mean i'm kind of upset that you keep spreading around this borderline bullshit dude okay okay ready we're going to do this again on stream publicly and you're going to break this in 12 hours okay i will agree not to mention you and i will ban people in chat for mentioning you I'll give them like an hour to get all their shit out for tonight so I don't have to be an average job. Then after tonight, we won't talk about you ever. And I won't talk about you on stream ever. If you can stop getting mad about me or referencing things about me or reacting to clips of me or whatever. You think yeah. you can handle that? Think you can make it two days doing that? Yeah. That means yeah. no tweets about narcissistic personality people do this or blah, blah, blah. No thinly veiled passive aggressive bullshit on Twitter. Can you handle that too? You know, I have repeatedly told you that I don't think you have NPD because you fucking don't. Oh, okay. I don't I, that's, why we're, we're pivoting. That's that. regardless. Regardless, it absolutely is about me, Anna. You tweet about me like almost every day for the past like six months. People send me your tweets all the time. Who the fuck is stalking? It's Pride. My Twitter is Pride. God. You damn. have over a thousand followers. What do you mean? Also, it's not every day. Jesus. It's Christ. like almost every. Every time I've talked to somebody in real life about this, and I said, I bet she's DM'd, or I bet she's tweeted about me recently, and then I check, you have, within the past, like, six hours. It's more like once, it's, it's more like when I'm just, like, upset and thinking about it and stuff. Which is, like, and every think, other day. Because so many fucking people have spread around your bullshit about me. Sure, so now do you see how you've shifted the goalpost, and now you're telling me why you do it so frequently, when before you told me you didn't do it frequently? No, because you said I do it every day, and it's like, dude, no. It's literally like once a week or something. Okay, even if it was once a week, that's still a lot, but it's probably closer to like every other day at like the most. No, it's not. There are days where you tweet like 20 times, and you're arguing with people in your mentions about it. Yeah, because I'll be like, I just like ruminate about it and stuff. 
I don't think you get that. It's like, it's constantly in my head. Like, it's always going through my head. Like, how am I going to deal with this? How am I going to deal with this? These people think I'm a stalker. Oh, great. What am I going to do? And then I think about all this shit and like the shit that you said. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? How am I going to like try and... Yeah, but um, your rumination and then the self-destructive behavior you engage in afterwards has only made it worse and worse and worse. So why not break the chain? Yeah. I know. Does that mean you're going to talk about this again in 12 hours with Stardew Valley in the background? No. Does that mean you're going to tweet about how abusive people and Dr. Gottman all come together and tell you about the horrible abuse you've suffered on Twitter in six hours? No. Are you going to mention Dan or Mooten or Eris or Melina or anybody else about me in 18 hours? When the fuck do I talk about Mooten and Dan? Except like, do you mean you're pivoting? It's always somebody peripheral to me or me or something else related to me or. Are you serious right now? Are you are you really serious right now? Are you, this is like are you really really? You really think that I? You really think that I'm obsessed with you, don't you? You really think that? Wow. Anna, I know you're obsessed with me. It's not like a question. <laughs> it's it's wow. like a the, what is the degree of severity? Wow. I mean, you know, you and your your wife have tried to ruin my life and spread lies about me yeah here you are talking to me giggling away on this conversation for 40 minutes like having the time of your life so it seems like it's not bothering you that much no really i'm having the time of my life you seem like it yeah i mean i am kind of glad that this is gonna end I'm, i'm glad that we can like put this to rest because it's very stressful for me but you i don't know you see what you want to see and like I mean, it disappoints me that, like, you seriously think I have, like, borderline personality disorder and you don't have the empathy for me. Like, you don't have empathy for me. You don't see how much stress this has caused me and how much that, like, I don't know, and how scary it's been. Like, you don't get it. No matter how many times I've explained this to you. I don't get it. Do you know why I don't understand? Why? Because when things are scary to most people or when things upset most people, they usually try to get avoidant of those particular things. They don't re-engage over and over and over and over again. That shows it's something different than fear that's driving you. It's some sort of obsession or compulsion or something else, some enjoyment sadistically no, that you're getting out of it or something. Fear. Not when that fear is also the same, the only source that is able to stop this. But nothing is stopping anything. We've, you've already told me the rational you're part the of your only brain. One. That has the power to stop this shit because your your fucking crazy fan base listens to you. Why would I stop anything like, when you're telling people that I'm pressuring you not to use condoms? When you're trying to raid people that I also raid because you know that it's going to start shit with our communities? When you're talking, when you're making all these other claims about me, why the fuck would I stop okay, responding to them? First of all, I had did not think that she was like a part of DGG or whatever. No, I you thought, thought she was another victim, and it was going to be funny to raid into her. God. You did. We listened to the clip of you saying it. You don't have to lie about it. We just heard it. No, no. We can move on from this lie because we've already exposed this one in 8K Ultra HD streamed on YouTube quality only 25 megabits per second, 32 inch OLED HDR screen on the wall. Why are you being so manipulative? I'm not being manipulative at all right now. You are though because that's not a lie. It absolutely is a lie. Why do you talk like a child like this? Wait, hold on. Why do you use a baby voice here? We're having a conversation like adults. What? I don't... I don't know. My voice just changed. I don't know because I'm exhausted and like, oh my god. I don't know. (laughs) It's not intentional. Why do you have to pick apart every little thing about me? It's probably not intentional. I think you do it... I think it's a habit because it makes people feel you you always cast yourself as the victim, right? Do you think you've done anything wrong over the past year and a half in terms of your association with me? Of course I have. I think we've gone over this many times. Okay, because you seem to cast yourself as as a massive victim in all of this, that I'm like the sole perpetrator of abuse, me and me alone. 
Okay. First of all, someone can, like, have been a victim, but that doesn't mean that they are, like, haven't done things wrong, though. Yeah, but you have an excuse to do everything wrong. Do you know what my main worry is right now? What? I think you've convinced yourself that because of the type of abuse I've subjected you to, I think that you could try to kill me in real life, and I think you would feel justified in doing it. Do you think you have a good enough reason That's on everything insane. that I've done to you? Do you think you have a good enough reason That's to try to kill insane. me? Well, yeah, uh, but do you think so? Fuck do you... no, dude. That's fucking insane. Holy shit. But haven't you, you said on your stream that, like, violent. don't you think on stream you've said that mental abuse is worse than physical abuse? And you said I've mentally abused you for over a year. Don't you think you're building up to a justification? And victims aren't responsible for how they lash out sometimes, no? So don't you think if you did kill me, like, you would still be the victim in the situation? Because I've been mentally abusing you for so long and you had no other option? That's insane, dude. What the fuck? That's actually insane. Come on, you know how weird I am. I'm, I'm like barely even okay with self-defense. I hate violence so much. Okay. Like, I'm more likely to just kind of let someone kill me rather than like, if I have to kill, like, no, I'm serious. Like, I really am super, I don't like violence. It, it I don't like it at all. I'm like very averse to it. I mean, I don't know. Um, that's pretty fucked up that you think... <laughs> well, no, you know what? I know you don't actually think that. You're just saying... I absolutely crazy. think that could happen. There's no way you think that. What, all, like, people who have experienced emotional abuse now, like, they have some... You think that, like, there's some sort of, like, justification for them to kill their abuser? No? What the fuck? I'm more scared that someone from your community is going to come and fucking axe murder me. Mm -hmm. You said you thought Melina would kill you, though, didn't you? Yep. Do you really think that? I don't know what to think anymore. Because you people seem like you just want to cause me pain and suffering, and that's it. If I wanted to only cause... If I wanted to cause you the maximum amount of pain and suffering, don't you think there's like a million other things that somebody like me could do? I'm a pretty resourceful person. You really think it would just yeah, be responding? Do it because the only reason you wouldn't do it is because of how it would impact you, not because it's morally Why wrong. do you think it would impact me? I don't know. It'll get you banned or something. I could get around things. I'm sponsored by surfshark.deal slash destiny. There's a VPN that I could get where I have uh, three months for free, 83% discount. I could log into an IP from anywhere in the world, do whatever I want. Surfshark.deals slash destiny. Use destiny as a promo code. Works on your iOS, Android, iPhone, uh, laptop, computers, anywhere in the world. Watch any programs you want for free. Check it out. Well, if you've already subscribed to it. Sorry. Go ahead. I mean, you've already doxed me on your stream. Why do you? Okay, here's another question. Let's actually, let's go over both of these. Okay. You said that I doxed the state that you lived in. If you were so concerned about the state that you lived in, why would you stream when we were together? How would people be able to find out just from like the one little area that we were in? Where because people knew. Do you think I don't publicly say what state I'm going to? People knew that I was near the guy that works for my website, Cake, David. They know that he lives there. I you to keep that private. I think I made it really clear how weird I am about. You like, think you made it clear to me that I wasn't allowed to say what state I was going to be in? You know that I announced my travel plans literally like weeks in advance. People know where I'm going. I guess I just assumed that you'd keep it private then. I guess maybe I didn't make it clear enough. Kind of like how you didn't make it clear enough that I shouldn't stream in the room. If so miscommunication. No. Let's be clear about that. We were clear that we weren't going to stream together. Because we both said that it probably wouldn't be a good idea for you. For people to yeah, have those assumptions. That. Yeah, I did. And you agreed. Yeah, but I, you didn't tell me, like, don't stream, like, don't, like, still stream, like, in Well, no, but if I agreed room. that I wasn't going to, don't you think it's a little bit weird to sneak your camera into the room and stream on the bed without telling me that you're streaming? Don't you think that's kind of strange? Oh, my God, I didn't sneak it in. Oh, why do you keep saying I snuck it in? It was literally in my hand. Did like, you, your phone was in your hand. I don't know if you're streaming. I have no idea. Okay, I mean, I told you I was going out to stream. Yes, you did. You said you were going out to stream. You didn't say you were going to bring it back into the hotel room. Like, nobody knew that we were outside, or I didn't think so. Apparently, you were telling your Discord that you were with me, but I didn't know that. At the time, it was like 10 people. 
So I what do you, but didn't really see it as like a big deal that I told my discord. Okay. But if you're telling your discord, you can't really accuse me of doxing then when you've already got the information on the internet. But I didn't tell them what state I was in. But if they know that I'm traveling to whatever fucking state we were in, I don't even remember at this point. Good. Don't remember. <laughs> don't you think that's pretty important when you accuse me of doxing you over and over and over and over and over again? Because, no, because I didn't think you had set the state. And then when I found out you did, I was very upset. Because I didn't... I thought you understood that, like, I was very weird about, like, my private information and stuff. If you were so weird about that, why wouldn't you take, like, the first step to make sure that people didn't know already what state I was in? So I was supposed to find out if you had, like, talked about it? Well, if you were that concerned, you could just ask me, Hey, Steven, have you mentioned where you're going? Rather than assuming I'm, like, traveling under, like, cover of night, on red eyes, making sure that nobody knows what state I'm in. Like, I genuinely thought that that's what you would do. Like, I thought you would at least respect like my privacy like that. Mo do you understand that most people don't think that people knowing what state they live in is doxing or a violation of their privacy? People didn't even have to know that you lived there. You might have traveled from out of state. They wouldn't have even known. I don't really care about the specifics of this. It's just irritating right that you now. claim that I'm doxing you. I get I get that now. Like, I get that now. Apparently, people don't think that's a form of doxing, which, I don't know. I guess you, I... You're still going to repeat this on stream. No. Really? You're not going to say that I doxed you anymore? Well, now you did, remember? It was the other day. Okay. I mean, also, when you leaked that DM. So you said for over a year that I've doxxed you again because I revealed that your first name is Kimmy. So one, your first name isn't Kimmy. And two, a first name is not a dox. I literally told you what my first name was. And then you leaked that. What, what, first of all, it was part of another DM. Secondly... You don't have to even reveal that is your name. It could be another fucking nickname for all anybody knows, which it is. And thirdly, a first name is not a dox. You, do you understand how easy it is to find someone if they have your first name? Like, that's so wild to me that you don't think that's a form of doxing. How many people with a first name do you think live in a given state? You Like, you literally stream. You've leaked your full name before on stream. What do you mean I've leaked my full name before? People have told me that you've, like, accidentally opened emails and stuff on stream. Where you've accidentally... Okay. I've deleted the... God damn it. This is why... This is... I'm such a boomer. Sure, but, but you've also done it apparently to other people as well. Where you've accidentally showed their information too. I don't no. care. I don't care. No, I never showed their information. Okay, I don't. If you're talking about waffles, mm -hmm. hell no. Okay, no. I don't. I don't care about this in particular. But like, you're accusing me of doxing. I didn't show their information. Don't care. Okay? Don't That's care. Serious. You're accusing me of doxing you. Okay, when I haven't like doxed you at all. If you I were wanting, if I wanted, if I could only go by one piece of identifying information to try to figure out who you were in your state, it wouldn't be your first name. It probably wouldn't even be your state. It would be that you told me the you tell everybody what you're studying. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, and then you gave and you basically like gave them like the like more information to help find me. Since I already talk about like being a psych major, like, come on, dude, you know, there's only like five or six master's programs in like each state. Then for, like, why would you psychology? tell people that you're in your master's program? I just don't understand. Why would you tell that's people? Been like the, that's been like the prominent part of my stream. And you stream literally in front of like incredibly famous shopping centers that literally anybody can just Google and see exactly where you're at. And you're mad at me because I told people what state I went to. How would they be able to Google and find you from like your the shopping places? What? 
you're in front of like no offense but the state doesn't have much going on for it okay it's when there's a name of a shopping center it's pretty easy to just google the name of it and figure out exactly where it is Ugh. i'm so bad with this stuff which is understand. fine i don't care but the problem is you're telling me that i'm a doxer you're saying publicly that i'm a doxer all right, fine. It wasn't fair to say that based on my state. So many people don't think it's doxing anyway, so, like, I, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's not. But then you go and leak my first name. Nobody knew it was your first name until you said it. And it's not even your first name. Your whole chat? Okay, come on now. Your whole chat literally, like, flood- I, I saw that clip. Your whole chat was flooding, being like, lol, doxed. Omega, lol, doxed. Yeah, they're making like, fun of you it. for claiming that you get doxed whenever anybody- Like, if I were to say, like, by the way, in real life, she has blonde hair. People would say, oh my god, doxed. People say doxed when we say Dan's name. It's a joke. feel like honestly even if you were to like leak my last name you could you would still go on and claim like oh no it's still not doxing because i didn't give her full fucking address and stuff no it's last like name is a lot more personal i didn't even leak your first name though yes you did that was a lie steven sounds like you're a compulsive liar look i can do that too i could be manipulative too yeah, we know. We listen to you manipulate Merle right into the brother zone every night on stream. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not manip... <sighs> Who is the Adri person? Is he actually a real person? Yes, he's a real person. Has he ever been on stream before? He streams. Oh, okay. That's good. How does he feel about you talking about this stuff every other day? Well, he watches my streams all the times, and he think and he thinks you're a fucking asshole. So that's what. Does he support you going public every day to recount your abuse over and over again to my fans flooding in and looking to shit stir? Does he understands why I feel like I the I feel the need to do it? So he's supportive. He's like, you do you. No, he still encourages me not to. So if he encourages you not to, your therapist encourages you not to, your moderators, Merle and Dev, encourage you not to, your actual fans encourage you not to, Even and then your friends, you current and old. Not to. So Even bad bunny encouraged me not to. Your arch nemesis. If I am looking from an outside perspective at you, why would I not think that you are a psychotic lunatic that is having a break from reality? Because you don't understand no, no, no. Help at all in okay. psychology. That's not a break from reality. Really? No. What is it then? It might not be the most rational thing to do, I guess, to other people. But in my head, it feels very rational. What do we say to people who are not acting rationally, but in their head, they think they're being rational? What do we call that? People do that all the time. People do that all the time. You know that, right? <laughs> Do you think that's normal that people live large sections of their life where everybody else sees them not acting rationally, but they feel like internally they're acting rationally? Don't you think that might be a little bit psychotic? It's not psychotic, but it's not exactly normal. There is a difference from between not being not doing things that are exactly normal and being psychotic. And maybe if you had a degree in psychology, you would understand that, but you don't. So that's why you should try not to actually diagnose people over the internet, Stephen. Okay. Tell me if this is... I agree. I don't have a degree. So let's ask this website. Psychotic disorders are severe mental disorders that cause abnormal thinking and perceptions. People with psychosis lose touch with reality. Two of the main symptoms are delusions and hallucinations. Delusions yep. are false beliefs, such as thinking that someone is plotting against you or that the TV is sending you secret messages. Do you think that 
your line of thinking where nobody else agrees with your line of thinking and you seem to agree that it makes sense to you but to nobody else might be an example of a delusion? No, it doesn't fall under the definition of delusion. Why not? Because it's not like detached from reality. Like it's, there's still some semblance of like realistic thought there or rational thinking there. Or, well, I shouldn't say rational thinking, but more like, um, it's a, it's like flawed. It's like a cognitive distortion. Do you know, you know the cognitive distortions, right? I thought I did, but you told me I don't have a degree. So I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know what those are. Can you explain well, for you me? Well, you do engage with them a lot. <laughs> People with cognitive distortions or with no. the terminology? I have a lot of cognitive distortions. Oh, I such do. Such as okay. when you think that, which, such as when you accuse me of compulsively lying mm -hmm. because you don't trust what I'm telling you and you think that there's something different going on in my head. But cognitive distortions are basically just like irrational thinking that are common among like anxiety disorders and depressed depression and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but they're not rational. It's not rational thinking. So, but they're not delusions. What, they what, don't reach the level of delusions. So what, what would you say, what in your, um, cause you're the educated one here. What would you say is the main difference between a cognitive distortion versus a delusion? Delusion tends to be more socially deviant. No, try again. Or let's think a little bit differently maybe. What do you mean? What, what would we think would be the main difference between a delusion like in a psychological sense, a delusion versus just a cognitive distortion. I mean, it's... I'll suggest like, something and you tell me if you agree. Maybe the big difference or one huge difference might be the conviction with which somebody holds onto that belief. So yeah. that's a pretty but, big part. I mean, like a person... A person with a cognitive... A person with a cognitive like, distortion com like, can probably be talked out of it, but a delusional person yes. has a much harder time, like, confronting it, right? Right. You can't, yeah, you can't talk them out of it, really, no matter how much evidence mm -hmm. you show them. So if right? you say that you have friends, moderators, chatters, and a boyfriend that are all trying to talk you down from a certain behavior, but you're continuing to engage in it regardless of that, and even you're kind of hinting that maybe it's not rational. Doesn't that sound a little bit more like a delusion than a cognitive distortion? The fact that I can recognize that it's not exactly the most rational thing is what makes it not a delusion. But I don't know if you're truly recognizing that or if you're lying to me or if you're engaged in self-deception and you really actually do believe that it is. Because it doesn't make sense that you would logically tell me right now, yeah, I guess it doesn't make much sense, but you're going to go back to doing it tomorrow, which you are. Wait, let me give you an example of something. Um, have you ever known anyone that does like strange rituals? Like, um, yes. and by rituals, I mean like OCD people. Um, yeah. They have to count certain things or sometimes it might be having to do like a certain set of actions to leave a room or sometimes it might be checking a phone a lot. Just depends on the person, but I'm familiar with at least people with OCD with rituals. Yeah. And they don't <laughs> think that they're, those rituals are, the most rational they recognize that like other people don't do them so okay i'm gonna speak personally because i don't know because i'm not a therapist i'm not a psychologist but my understanding of a ritual is a ritual is typically like a simple action that a lot of anxiety builds until you perform this action to alleviate the anxiety but a ritual would be something generally pretty simple not something grand like I have a ritual that I have to go and act out like a performance in a play or I have to go and, um, you know, like go to class and study for 55 minutes or, whatever, or I need to go on stream and talk about something. I don't think that those are typical rituals of somebody with OCD. I think rituals tend to be a little bit more simplistic and mechanical in nature. No, that's my no, understanding, understand. but I could be totally wrong. I mean, they could go on for hours and hours and hours. But do you think a normal ritual might be, I need to turn on my stream and I need to constantly talk about this particular thing? Does that sound like a normal ritual for an OCD person? It might be. I don't know. I'm actually, I don't mm -hmm. actually truly, I truly don't know. Maybe it is. I've it never. It can take the form of uh, pretty much anything, to be honest. 
Okay, are you on like a medication for OCD stuff? <laughs> why, are you, why are you trying to get me medicated? <laughs> well, because if you have an OCD, if you have OCD that's so severe that it's inhibiting your day-to-day -day life, interfering with your ability to do your studies or get a job, interfering with your personal relationships, interfering with your ability to take care of yourself, it seems like this is something that demands more treatment than just you talk just therapy. I have a mental illness. Yeah, well, that's what OCD is, isn't it? Yep. But why why would it be so ridiculous to think that you would need medication for OCD? It's not that simple. There's not really I don't really know of any medication that's specifically for OCD. Yeah, don't they prescribe antipsychotics sometimes for OCD or sometimes SSRIs? I, I've never heard of that. Uh, antidepressants, yeah. Yeah. Yes, cognitive behavioral therapy works best though for OCD. Sure it does, but sometimes it could be used in conjunction with medication and it seems like the CBT isn't helping much because you seem like you've had these issues for like a year. No, it's just that I just started sort of uh, addressing particularly the OCD again. OCD can also get, um, it could get worse during really stressful times or it could like flare up again. Are you prescribed anything for your anxiety? Like Xanax no. or any, no, nothing at all? No, Xanax doesn't work for that. Uh, like, I mean, it does temporarily, but it's really shit. Ben, Benzo's a real shit. Yikes, you for anxiety. Well, I mean, if you're going to have a severe panic attack, or sometimes they're prescribed long-term, I think, for people with general anxiety, no? Yeah, yeah. So if, the, if you have anxiety that's so severe that you're dedicating hours and hours of your day towards wrestling with a certain ritual or compulsion, it seems like a pretty good case for where a medication might be appropriate. Possibly. Okay. I just don't know why you laughed when I suggested it or asked about it. But. Well, it just feels like um, you trying to make me, I don't know, seem more crazy or something. I already um, think you're crazy. Nothing you say is going to change that. I don't care about that at that point. That battle is lost a long time ago. That's, that's not what I'm here to argue or d decipher. I, wow, <laughs> nice. Fairly nice of you. <laughs> nice to know that you don't really think of me as a person. I do. I think of you as a crazy person. Mm. Are crazy people not people? But you understand how that's dehumanizing. Crazy people aren't humans. Because it's, it's it's like the effect of it is to discredit me and stuff, and that like nobody listens to me then because they just think I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't want anybody to listen to, and I want people to think you're crazy because you lie about me constantly. We've already gone over like three or four lies just in this conversation. Of course. I have not lied. You lied about pressuring the condom thing. Yes. That wasn't a lie. I just shouldn't have used that terminology. You lied about why you raided into Autistic Destiny, yes? Okay, no. I didn't lie about that. I gave you multiple reasons. You lied about me spreading STDs to people. Wow. You literally admitted it, though. How was that a lie? You lied about revealing the state that we were in, that you told people on your Discord, but you thought it wasn't a big deal. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't tell them what state. What do you mean? You told them that you were visiting me and people knew what state I was in, but you said you didn't think it was a big deal because it was on your Discord. No, I mean that... All right, hold on. You fucking trapped me into that. You trapped me into that. That's not what you were saying. I said that... I only said that, like, oh, I was hanging out with you to people in my Discord. Mm -hmm. That didn't mean that, like, I was saying, like, what state. I didn't know that, like people knew what state you were in or whatever. I found that out later. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Like, nothing I say, like, you just think I'm lying. Well, yeah, because I think you're a compulsive liar, of course. But do you see how this is, like not okay to treat me like this when I'm telling you that I'm not lying? But you've misrepresented situations over and over and over and over and over again. You even admit it, that you should have spoken differently. You should have said something different. 
doesn't mean I was lying. Okay. I just shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> okay. So I do apologize for that. But you don't care about apologies. I get it. Nope. Because it's going to happen again. Do you think you're going to be talking about me tomorrow night on your stream? How about... What about all... This? Okay, so I don't... I don't like this either because it's like... You've misrepresented the fuck out of me, too. Though, for you, I think it's intentional. I'm not here to... I'm, I'm not here to argue about representations right. of anybody. Fine. I just want to know how to how do we move on from this point. Yeah, it's fine. We're good. You think so? Yeah. Now that you put it in everybody's head that I'm crazy and a compulsive liar and borderline, it sucks, but... All right, well, I'll look forward to responding to your clips tomorrow when I see you freaking out again and Merle telling you that he's going to shut the stream off, so. <laughs> Not going to happen. All right, well, listen, email your therapist. Give him my email. If you want to do that three-way session, I'm totally for it. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, yeah. have fun. Good night. Stay safe. Bye. I, it, I, I don't know. It's like, it is what it is. What did the test say? It's blank. I don't know, dude. When you guys start talking about COVID, it puts it in my head. No, I feel like my throat is sore, but I don't even think it is. I think you guys are just mind fucking me. You guys are just mind fucking me. I feel like I have COVID every day. It's in my chest. Yeah, I'm getting pneumonia. I feel it. <laughs> I'm all, my body is slowly dying. Oh. Okay, well, when I start my chat tomorrow morning, if I see you guys, um, if I see you guys bringing this up, we're gonna ban until she brings it up again. We'll see what happens, all right? Jesus. Oh, let's catch up on donuts, I guess. Damn, 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 damn. Good luck, buddy. <sighs> I feel like I've outpaced him intellectually. Because I'm putting 100%. I think I'll let you have one thread on the subreddit. I'll let, allow it to stay up and then then we're moving on. You speak to avatar, 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 you speak to avatar. You should ask her if she has ever lied before, and if so, what was the lie? I feel like I've outpaced <sighs> her intellectually. If Y.E. has a million number of fans, I'm one of them. If Y.E. has ten fans, I'm one of them. If Y.E. has no fans, that means I'm no more a mere. If world against Y.E., I'm against the world. I love Y.E. till my last breath. A diehard fan of Y.E. 7. True. I feel like I've outpaced him intellectually. Because I'm putting a hundred percent. Yes. Do you ever feel like an NPC in like someone else's life?
<sighs> Your quest, am I keeping a buck fifty? Dumping clips in down beds is king shit. But let this be a lesson in damning the baby bear. Oh my god, yee. Whoa. Making deranged pussy go hell. You're a fucking statistician. You should pay Corbu to design a one shot around the BPD tyrant princess and the night trying to thwart her compulsive machinations after their brief tryst. Simulate for solutions. Stop Scrape the Reddit thread. I oh, how you could have played it better. When are you getting new Dono sounds? I don't know. Fuck you, take my money. Destiny, I commend your courage to stand up against someone as abusive as Anna. Because I'm putting a hundred percent. Ah, me too, guys. You're a genius, dude. A forward slash raid. That's tiny. Gotta say, man, I lost a lot of friends due to becoming the most radical progressives. You kept me sane through all of it. Thank you, Steven. So I have to genuinely thank you for keeping it real. Proud to be a 12 month sub. Let this convo be a lesson to you, chat. This is what happens when you have sex with someone outside of marriage. Inshallah, my brothers, stay strong, blessed any bonus meme. Twitch chat, white people happy. Fuck, why? I'm just. I have. Mr. Girl. I'm, okay, I'm not. Nothing is happening to me. He's gonna kill me again. New Mario movie opening. Wait, is this a meme? Why do the merch guys hate Leafs? It's a stupid meme. I feel like I've outpaced him intellectually. This is a me. Now, I bet you're wondering just how someone like me, handsome with a medical degree and a mustache and a below minimum wage plumbing job, get into a situation like this. Okay, plumbers do not make below minimum wage. Well, let me tell you, it all started in the summer of uh, 1981. Guys, if you haven't seen that, this movie is an unironic 10 out of 10, okay? You guys don't know what you're missing. Back when movies used to be good. Back when they made real movies. We should just watch the whole movie on stream, since that's what we do on Twitch now. These pipes have been studying this for years. Must have been a non-union job. <laughs> non-union job. <laughs> Good one, Luigi. Luigi. Lock go off all these valves. What? It's the heating system. Look at how smart they are, because they're plumbers. <laughs> Treat your tools like a friend. Keep them by you. Never let them down, and they're always at your side. True. Hey, Mario, how come it is that for every situation that could possibly come up, you always got to say about tools, huh? I got them from Pop. He got them from Graham. We'll freeze them. Keep them busy while we make our way up. Pop, oh, how can we do that? We can't just take an elevator. We got to do something. We trip the alarm. What do you think I am, stupid? Yes, but how are we going to get up, huh? Like Mario's. <laughs> like Mario's. <laughs> The jump boots, guys. Look at those outfits. God damn. Oh shit. Anytime I say Hassan looks like a Goomba, I'm talking about these guys. Bro, you're interrupting our movie. Let me keep it soy 50. I am so lonely I would accept a girlfriend as crazy as Anna.
Look at how sneaky these guys are. the Goombas to dance, guys. <laughs> Weren't the actors and notorious being completely hammered during the entire filming? I have no idea, dude. I don't know what was... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Lupin, all right? It's a stupid Hold on. In his 2007 autobiography, John... Leguizamo, I don't know if this guy's name, states he and Bob Hoskins hated working on the film and would frequently get drunk to make it through the experience. Both men apparently knew the movie would turn out bad, so they simply tried to make the best of it. He also stated he felt one of the biggest reasons the movie turned out the way it did was because the directors wanted a more adult movie, while well, the studio, considering the source material, was looking for a children's film. Legendary film, guys. What are they called? The bombs? Keep them busy while we make our way up. Oh, how can we do that? That's King Koopa, guys. You should know this if you played the games. That's the old king. He got turned into all the fungus in the kingdom, by the way. In case you guys don't know the lore. That's Peach's dad. These guys are on their way to Mad Max. YouTube stream just got temporarily blocked. All right, listen, I love you, YouTube. I'm going to sleep. Anyway, we're finishing this on Twitch, the motherland. I don't know why I'm talking about it. They can't hear me right now. Okay. Oh, I probably shouldn't stop my stream on that. Hat. Hold on, let's chill for a second. Thank you, Steven. I don't know why I keep looking at this. It's not positive. I know that it's not positive. <clears throat> You're a genius, dude!
fucking dubstep. Oh well, YouTube is down. Why is Nintendo being abusive? True. Dude! Are you done streaming? Yeah, I'm about to be, okay. I'm just waiting for my YouTube stream to come up because I feel like it looks bad if I turn it off right when it gets muted for copyright stuff. Stop stuffing your fat fucking mouth! One last thread before you go again. off. Wait, go Up, Mooton, all right, it's a stupid fucking, fucking meme. Very well, their son is fair autism related issues. I don't know what this is. I feel like I've outpaced him intellectually. Damn, that sucks, frowny face. That's some bullshit. Okay, I love you, YouTube. I'm going to sleep, though, okay? Be careful, daters. Okay, now that we're ditched those losers. Now it's time to finish this. Real quick. Okay. I love you guys. Stay safe. Be careful. Good night. Ripper on. Ripperino. Cappuccino. Probably. Good night, daters.